And my hair is like super good if I'm guapo. They're always good. If I'm wops. If I'm wop. That's the wop. That's the wop. <laughs> What's up, people? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. What's happening? What's up, people? It's election night, huh? I think. I don't know. Everybody's going to be watching TV right now. If not, everybody's watching TV somewhere online. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about any of that. You want some of that, you can go on, uh, on a TV, on the TV or somewhere. I'm here to talk about something else. I'm an artist, okay? I am a full-time artist. I've been a full-time artist for quite some time now. Almost a decade now, man. What's up? Hello, hello, hello. And I want to talk to you about something that, that I believe... Uh, how's it going, Constance? What's up, people? What's up, Benin? Something I believe it's very important and it should be worth mentioning and talking about. I think it's very, very important to talk about this. And this is the idea of creating certainty. Creating certainty in the middle of uncertainty. I just went and I wrote a, an article on LinkedIn. Uh, I like to write articles too. I, I went and I wrote an article on this specific topic. And, and what's up, Jack? Salud. And the reason is because I myself have been feeling uncertain on the things that I'm doing. And so the, 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 the reason why I teach this stuff, guys, excuse me, I'm like, the reason why I teach this stuff is because I go through it. And so I go through it and I get out of it and then I have insights, right? I have insights and I'm like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to share this with other artists. And this is basically how, this is my modus operandi. This is how I've been running pretty much my, my entire, uh, sharing of, of knowledge and, uh, the content that I create and that I share, aside from creating the artwork, of course. Then I'm talking about the stuff that I share here, the stuff that I share on, on YouTube and other social media platforms. And and again, it's stuff that I go through and, and this is how I get to share it. What's up? What's up? Hello, hello, hello. Let me say, let me say hi to people. If you guys have any questions, by the way, right now, you guys are more, more than welcome to write your questions down. I'm reading. Okay, so I'm going to be reading as I go here, but I want to share this with you because I believe this is very important. How do you create certainty in the middle of uncertainty when you're not feeling any certainty? Maybe you're thinking, man, this whole art career thing is not for me. It's not working or what am I doing wrong? You know, it seems like I work and I work and I work and things just don't seem to connect. I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? Or uh, how much more do I have to wait? Or or I feel like I'm in a hamster wheel. That's another thing. That's something that I felt many, many times. And I know other artists have expressed this to me. Dude, I feel like I'm in a hamster wheel. Like I just can't get off of this hamster wheel. And I and it, it, there wouldn't be a problem if I'd be earning more, if I'd be getting more, more, more experience, more knowledge. Uh, I'd be pay. I'd be getting paid more, more opportunities, and on and on. Hey, Dan. Keep it down, dude. And so now I'm now I'm at home. <laughs> and so, so this is something that artists have expressed and and to me, and I've expressed this to many of you as well. It how come there's moments that we feel like we're in a hamster wheel and we can't get out of it? And how do we get certainty out of those moments so that we can be more creative and thus allow us to open our eyes more? You know, allow us to open our eyes more. Let me let me go close the, the door here on my, my son's room. I'm going to close this door, dude, okay? Okay. There we go. Sorry, I'm at home. And so, how do we do this? I think you can see my beautiful face. Well, yeah, you can. And so, how do you do this? How do you get out of this uncertainty? Or how do you feel? How do you make yourself feel certain? In, in such moments where you're just not feeling it, you feel like you're, again, you're in a hamster wheel. Things are just uh, just repeating and maybe not getting enough traction. You're not getting paid enough. You're not getting enough attention. Maybe you've been on Instagram and you're like, man, I've been on Instagram so much and I still don't get followers. I still don't get people asking me 
uh, about where do I sell my paintings or, or, or anything like that. It just feels like this grind that just doesn't move anywhere. And so I want to remind you guys something here. This is something that I've, I'm, I'm, I've experienced so much. And it's not until you experience it a few times where you can actually put your finger on it and you can be like, huh, I found the shit that's, that's messing with me. You know, it keeps happening, keeps happening. And you're like, huh, I got you. You finally put your finger on it and you're like, how, how in the hell was I not able to see this? And the reason I believe we're not able to see it is because we're in it and we're spinning with it. And sometimes you need a bird's eye view. Sometimes you need to step away a little bit and look at what's going on. And when, when you're in it all the time, you really can't see it. You really can't see it. Um, you, you, you may be working all the time. You may be outworking everyone else around you. And you're like, man, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. But it still doesn't catch any traction. There's still, this, this thing feels uncertain. It doesn't feel like it's, it's giving enough. Okay, so I think I've, I've talked enough about this. Let's give the, the solution of this thing. What is the solution? So many of you know that I talk a lot about hustle and get there earlier, leave later, you know, uh, just get it done. Do it. Go and do it. I want to share with you something here that I don't always touch on. And this is, again, this is one of those things that it's super important. And the reason I don't, I don't always touch on is because I'm not always thinking about it. And I assume that most people, yeah, you know, what happens with assuming, right? I assume that most people know this, but actually most people don't know this. The reason why most people get caught in a circle, in a hamster wheel, and it's not working for you, and you feel like it's just not working, it's because it's not because your attention is not on something. Most people are like, oh, it's because you lost your attention. That's not true. You haven't lost your attention. You haven't lost your focus. It's the opposite, really. You're too focused on one thing. The trick here is that you're too focused on one thing. One thing. And so this thing is killing you, man. If you, don't, if you, if you can't see this, this thing is killing you. Let's say you want to be a full-time artist, right? And I tell you, hey, by the way, you know what you should do? You should go and start getting uh, some, to get some gallery shows, you need to go start knocking some doors and galleries. Well, if that's all you're doing and that's all you do in order to get traction on that, there's going to be a lot of time that you're actually, that, that, that you're going to hit walls doing that. And if you keep grinding on that, it's going to wear you out. I'm not saying I'm not saying that's not the answer. Of course, that's the answer. If you're trying to get gallery shows, you should be knocking on galleries, gallery doors, talking to gallery owners, and 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 let them know that you have some value to offer to the gallery, as I've explained in many of my videos. But this doesn't mean that that's the only thing you should be doing. Should you be doing that a lot? Yeah, you should be doing that a lot. You should be doing that at least I don't know. If if that's your aim, you should be doing that at least two three hours a day. But it shouldn't be the only thing you're doing. It shouldn't be the only thing you're doing. You should be adding to that. Adding other, other things. You should be opening a Twitter account. You should be doing something on YouTube. You should be doing something on Etsy. You, you, you should be so busy with so many things, right? That you can't get stuck. When you get stuck... And, and many artists talk about this. Man, I feel like I'm in a rut. I'm in a rut. It, nine out of ten, I always know what's wrong. Nine out of ten, I always know what's wrong. You're, you're zeroed in on one thing. And it's eating you. It's eating you from inside. You're, you, you wake up and you're just thinking about that. You go to bed and you're just thinking about that. And all day, you're just thinking about that one thing. Now, I know many entrepreneurs out there talk about, man, you just got to focus on that one thing. No, not for artists. Not for artists. For artists, you should do one thing more than other things. 
right? You should do one, some of those things you should do more than others. Painting takes more time. So painting is not something that you're going to do maybe 30 minutes a day. Painting should be something that takes, takes time, maybe at least an hour, two hours, whatever. Those of you who are more serious, it might be, a, might be six hours. But you should be doing something else. Something else should be happening so that, so that you break that, that, so that you're not just thinking about that one thing. It's almost like class. It gets you out of that rut. If this makes any sense, let me read, let me read one of these comments right here. Jack Salute said, when I experience uncertainty in my art career, watch and review all your YouTube videos, and it motivates me, helps me refocus, and puts me back on track. You are the best, Jose Trujillo. Thank you so much, Jack. I appreciate that. Uh, Samba says, you're so right about that. Hey, thanks for all the videos. Thanks so much, Olga. Appreciate it. How's it going, Alicia? And so, so... The, the, the reason why artists experience uncertainty, I don't, I don't even think it's just for artists. I think, I think other people can benefit from this video. But since I'm an artist, I talk to artists and, and from an artist perspective. But the reason why is because you're, 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 it's a fixed mindset. It's, it's, your, your mind is not open enough. It, it's too fixed on one thing. You know, some people talk about, man, I just need to focus because I keep trying to do all these things and then I, nothing sticks. I don't think that works for an artist. I really don't. I, I, I think that you should repeat the things, but you shouldn't stick to just one. I think you should repeat them. What I mean by this is if you're going to go and, and, and I don't know, uh, open a, an Etsy account or your website to sell your artwork, uh, it doesn't mean you should abandon it. I think what people say is that they abandon things. I don't think you should abandon it. Like you open an account, uh, be there every day. Put some artwork in there. Uh, chat with people, whatever. Be there. Yes, multiple things, absolutely. Be there every day, but don't just do that. Because if you're just doing that, if you open your Etsy account and all you're thinking is about your Etsy account all day, 16 hours a day or eight hours a day, whatever your time allows it. But but let's say all your time that you have left for your career. If that's all you're doing, uh, you're just creating artwork and putting stuff on Etsy or creating artwork and putting stuff on, on social media and, and you're trying to figure out social media, look, it, it ain't gonna work. You're, you're gonna get into the rut. And And there's no traction there. You're just spinning your wheels. I'm going to tell you why there's, why there's no traction. This is something that I, I tapped into after a few years of being a full-time artist. Okay, I started tapping into it. I tapped into it right away, but I had no idea what the hell I tapped into. So I could not even, I could not even recognize it. Okay, how's it going, Abby? I really start tapping into it once... I got smacked a few times by it, okay? And, I, and when I mean a few, I mean a few, a few dozen times by it. Just got smacked over and over by it. And then I started like paying attention to it. What is this thing that's happening to me? That when I get focused, okay, as an artist, when I get focused, I lose momentum. This is so weird. This is so weird because most people say, you gotta get focused. Yes, you got to get focused, but don't get singular. This is what I'm talking about. You want to be doing multiple things. Don't get singular on me. You start getting singular, you're going to start you're going to start sweating bullets. You're going to start getting stressed because that's all you're thinking about and basically what you're doing is you're getting your head and sticking it into a hole. You're cutting off the circulation, in other words. You're cutting off the circulation. Constant says, OMG, this is me now. Yeah, you, you, it's important to get focused. But when I, when I mean focus, I'm talking about daily. It should be a daily routine. But it shouldn't be the only thing you do. So whatever new thing you're doing should be a daily routine. Like, for example, I write articles. That should be something I do every day. Some days I miss, but it should be something I do every day. Writing an article. Shouldn't take me more than 15 minutes to write an article. If it takes me more than that, I don't know what the hell I'm writing about. And it's fine. 
Maybe I'll skip that moment. And write something else or, or write part of an article. But write something, right? It's part of my routine. I have to write something every day. Painting is another thing, right? I paint for a living. But I, I, I can't suffocate all my day on painting. And sometimes I do that and I snap out of it. I snap out of it. Be like, you know, I can't suffocate all my day because then I, I lose... I'm on burnout. Yeah, you, because what happens, uh, Constance, you lose creativity. When, when you suck, because basically what you're doing is you're cutting circulation. The more things you do, the more circulation you have. See, so you go and you spin this plate, the plate of making paintings, right? You, you're an artist, you make paintings. You spin that. You let that spinning and you walk to another plate. You get another plate, the plate of social media. You spin that. Let that spinning, right? In the same day, I'm not talking about multiple days, the same day, you grab another plate, the plate of looking for opportunities online, maybe with galleries, maybe with uh, opening a new, a, new, a new shop, maybe an Etsy shop or an eBay shop, or whatever. You spin that plate, okay? New opportunities, looking for new opportunities. And then you go to another one. Maybe you make a video and you talk about your commissions. You spin that plate. Maybe you're teaching people the way I'm doing now. You spin that plate. That same day, you keep spinning all these plates. If, if you get sucked into, man, but when I paint, I get, I, get, I get paid for it really well. All I should be doing is painting. When you do that, which by the way, I've, I've fallen into this trap so many times, I can't even recall. When you do that, all the other plates that you're spinning, slow down and stop, and some of them fall. And you get fixed into the thing that brings you the most opportunity or the most income or the most attention, whatever it is, the most opportunity, we're going to call it. And you're fixated on spinning that one and you want to spin it faster. And you want to spin it faster. You want to, you want to keep spinning it faster. The problem with that is that it starts cutting your circulation, your creative circulation. It starts cutting it. And all, all you're trying to do is get as much as possible from a single source. This, I remember making a, a, a video on this and I called it the kiss of death. Mm -hmm. Doing this. Uh, I made a video on this about... And that's like um, you made. Maybe two years ago. Where are you going? Oh, it's busy too The plates have fallen. It just feels scary. Feel uh, I feel violated, <laughs> violated today live. Oh no, it's it's a it's a very uh, give me a second. Oh, it, it, it's a very common thing that happens to artists, and I don't think it just happens to artists. I, it, it happens to just about everyone. Um, and I say common because when, when things seem to work, it, it, I, I'm, going, I'm going back to this idea of the singular, being singular. When things seem to work, you just want to find out what is the one thing that is making it work. And you just want to do that. Why? Because, because you don't, nobody does. I don't want to spend all this energy on all this stuff, right? We don't want to spend all this energy on all this stuff. But that's not really what's happening. It is a very good thing to have many plates spinning because you don't get burned out on a single thing. You have the creativity, the, the, the fact that you're able to move to another action cleans your slate, it cleans your mind. And when you go back to the first action, you're going back to it more creatively. You actually go back to it with more creativity because you're not fixed on it. Here's another, another way to put it. If something is giving you uh, I don't know X amount of results. If something is giving you, let's say Let's say you're doing commissions and they give you um, 
$500 a day, let's say, right? Those of you who are selling your artwork, let's say I'm doing commissions and I'm getting 500 bucks a day selling commissions or a week, whatever it is for you, it doesn't matter. Let's just do it for, for the sake of this argument. I'm getting $500 a day every time I'm doing commissions and oh my God, I should just let everything go and just focus on the commissions. This is a very tempting thing, okay? What I want to express here is don't let everything else go. Figure out if you can put more weight on that without letting everything else go. So in other words, if you're spending three hours on your commissions, try to spend five hours and see if that creates more income. At some point, no matter how much weight you put on it, it won't give you more. This is, this is a lesson that, I, that I, I learned and it was a very painful, very valuable lesson. Don't try, don't try to squeeze a gallon out of a lemon, okay? Some lemons, they can only give you a few ounces, you know? So, some fruit can only give you so much. Don't try to squeeze a gallon out of it. In other words, go to the next thing and squeeze something out of the next thing and squeeze something out of the next thing. Don't just stand, stay there and try to squeeze as much as possible, which is something that I've done in my career over and over. And I fall in and I get up and I'm like, oh my God, what, what just happened? Well, I, bec I become singular, right? Only this thing pays me. Only this thing I'm going to do. This is the thing that pays me the most. Yeah, but, and, and, and it might be the thing that pays you the most. It might be the thing that gets you the most, the most uh, return, but it cuts your circulation. Your creative circulation is so important. And so when, when I've expressed to artists to stack, to take it and, 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 and function like a farm, you know, function like a farm, start stacking things to do throughout the day. Not, not, not things that don't give you any fruit. Like not, not bullshit stuff. Like, I don't know. Some people just go on, I'm going to do research. And they do research for like seven hours. Or like, I'm going to do research on, on themes and things to paint. And that, that's not, that's not good. Your, your, your day should be changing channels. Your day should be about changing channels throughout the day. You okay, dude? Yeah. That's what your day should be about. Your 15 minute workshop uh, has been working for me. Yeah, the one about time, right? The one, the one that I talk about time. Many people don't know this, and so when something when something is giving you results, lean on it, but don't stop doing the other things, guys. This is a, and it's tempting to do that because you, you're going to start looking at stuff and you'll be like, well, this is the only thing that is really working for me, so I should cut all the other stuff out. And when I mean all the other stuff out, I'm talking about social media, doing YouTube videos, um, looking for opportunities on different on different platforms um, being on Instagram also being on Instagram not just as a social media platform like putting stuff on your wall but actually DMing people and looking for opportunities all those things should be part of your daily routine but they should they should take very little time they shouldn't take so much time unless that's your main form of opportunity some artists LinkedIn or Instagram or YouTube is their main form of opportunity. Okay, pick your main form of opportunity. For example, my main form, form of opportunity is actually creating artwork. But I can't do it in just one thing, in one vertical. Because when I start doing that, again, I cut the circulation of creativity. So I, yes, I'm going to do, I'm going to do commissions. But, but, I, also, but I also have to do eBay auctions. And I, and I also have to create artwork that it's going to sit there in a gallery. And I also have to create artwork that I'm going to put on a social, on a, not a social media, on social media, but on a, on a, on a, on a website, on a Saatchi art, on a Cherish, on an Ebif, on an, you get it, you know, on all these other websites, but it's just going to sit there. It's going to sit there. It might not sell right away. It doesn't matter. Sooner or later, they start selling. It's almost like a little piano. You know, certain keys start hitting. 
But but the more you have, the more you have, the merrier. It's like all these opportunities start clicking, as opposed to just waiting for the first one. Olga says, uh, I love the challenge you gave a while back, painting a different style and only 30 minutes. Uh, one of my best paintings I did, this one. Oh, nice. I love that. And so, I hope that this makes sense. I hope uh, I don't confuse anyone with this kind of stuff. I know I know uh, many people uh, um, can get confused. I know I've gotten confused, not with my message, but... Uh, just in my career like what do i do next what do i do next look i have a workshop on time for those of you who haven't seen it i highly recommend it I have a workshop on time and <laughs> you dropped your drink huh? <laughs> that was big and it just came back like this it was like that no, it yeah, you threw it away over there. <laughs> Good job. Though. Did you clean it all up? Yeah. Okay. Hey. He's stinky. I'm stinky? Yeah. Is that what you're going to tell him? Yeah. Stinky as in what? As in I smell bad or as in I behave stinky? Both. Both? <laughs> I swear. I, 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 maybe I, I feel like I took a shower. Uh... You say all the time, but you receive in different stages of career. Yeah, you, you, the messages that I'm that I'm sharing here are they're not all going to apply to the same person, guys, or to the same moment. You, you know, use it if it applies to you in a certain time, and some stuff won't. For example, again, some people say, "Jose, you're crazy, dude. I'm getting all my sales from Instagram." Then, then put more energy on Instagram. But I can almost promise you, if you put all your energy just on one thing, you begin to cut the circulation. It's almost like you suffocate your creativity. See, creativity is very interesting. Creativity seems to work when you're not fixed on it. Kind of like, kind of like relationships. Relationships seem to work really well when you don't suffocate the other person. When you give it attention... But then you give it space. Right? If you don't give it attention, it's, 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 it's not going to work. But if you don't give it space, it won't work either. It needs both. The yin and the yang. You need to give it attention and also give it space. Attention and space. And so what I found out is you need to give it attention daily. Attention. But you also need to give it space daily. Right? So, so, so you can't, what I'm trying to say here is you can't be there all the time. You're gonna drive it. You're gonna drive in people insane if you're there all the time. You can't. You can't be twenty four seven. Like, listen to me. Look at. Oh no, oh, I'm going to pay attention to you. No, it can't be like that because you you start cutting the creativity. You need to go do something else for a little bit, and then go do something else. It, little chunks of time. This is the best thing that I learned from an entrepreneur, and it just, it takes practice, guys. It takes practice. It's a balance, yeah, you need to balance it out. You need to keep balancing it out. But 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 it needs to be done daily. And this is what people don't get me. They're like, Jose, well, what do you mean? You say to do this every day? Yeah, I do do it every day, but don't spend all day on it. Just like you brush your teeth every day. You're brushing your teeth every day, you're showering every day, but you don't spend two hours in the shower every day. It doesn't need to. You don't spend two hours brushing your teeth every time you brush. You don't need to, you know? Five Three minutes, if you're flossing, five minutes, whatever. That's it. That's it. And then you go and do something else, right? And then you go and do something else and you do something else. Your career is the same way. That's why a few years back I called it the farm. In your, your career, you should be behaving as a farm. There's, there's moments that all you're doing is taking care of the animals. There's moments that all you're doing is taking care of the ground. And then there's moments that you're sharpening the tools, you know, and you have to be doing all these things throughout the day. Well, your career seems to me that it's like a farm. There's moments that I need to be doing this, but I can't, I can't do these videos all day. Just like I can't paint all day. I paint a lot. 
that I can't paint all day because I'll miss out on other opportunities. What do you when your day's blown up? When your day's blown up, you, you need to make things shorter. So for example, I have the luxury right now of making this video long, but a few, maybe a year or so back, I wasn't making the videos like this. I would only make, I would only make like really quick videos or only when I was in the car. Um, they should be really short. So social media, this is another thing that I learned from, from an entrepreneur, very successful entrepreneur. He's like, whatever you do throughout your day, should you should break it down into 10 or 15 minute lots. So let's say they're like, oh my God, I need to find new opportunities. Yeah, you don't need to spend two hours looking for new opportunities. 10 minutes, go. Time your, I used to carry a timer with me, 10 minutes. You can do it to the point where you can do six product, product, very product, productive, uh, productive things in one hour, right? 60 minutes, six very productive things. If you're like, if you get good at this, you'll get to the point where you're doing 10 or 12 productive things in one hour. And I mean productive. I'm not talking about bullshit. I'm playing with my phone. No, I'm talking about productive things that will yield opportunity. People that make phone calls for a living know this. I used to make phone calls for a living. You have to be on top of it, right? You pick up the phone, boom. You can't you can't hang up the phone. You have to keep it here. Dial, right? Dial, 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 dial. And you can do so much in such a short period of time because you're not really selling. Anyone who sells on the phone knows that you're not really selling. You're not. You're, you're establishing contact so that you can put together a little bit of time, a little bit of time, for an interview with someone, for so that they can give you a little bit of time. So you're just, you're establishing a connection. That's all you're doing. That's why you can do so much. People are like, oh my God, who are you going to sell in less than a minute? You're not going to sell anybody on the phone like that. It, it, it's only to set up, to set up um, time, right? To set up time, to set up a, 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 a meeting. Being on the phone, anyone who sells on the phone knows this. You're only trying to set up a meeting so that you can actually talk to the person now. But but the hundreds of phone calls a day, you ain't selling nothing there. That's not that's not that's not to sell anything. But in the same way, in the same way, when you, when you spend ten minutes on your Instagram, liking, commenting, whatever, you're not gonna sell anybody there. No one's gonna be like, oh my god, yeah, I saw your painting. I'm gonna buy it. No, no one's gonna do that. No, it's only after you do it day in, day out, right? The days start going by. The days. 10, day, 10 minutes today, 10 minutes tomorrow, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Boom, you sell something. It might be, it might take you three days. It might take you one day if, you know, as, as you start moving forward. But 10 minutes every day, it might take you a week or two before you actually get interest. Someone's, someone's asking, where do you sell that painting? Hey, what size is it? What's the price? Can I buy it? Where is it at? Is it still available? Before you start getting those questions, you need traction first. Traction, 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 traction. And then you get to those moments. Guess what? Those moments are far in between. They don't, even the people that have a lot of followers, those moments are not so rapid. They're not so fast. And so, so what we do is we're like, oh, I want to advance on these moments. So you go and you try to spend so much time on Instagram. Now I say, if Instagram is your main source of income, by all means, spend two, three hours, eight hours on it if you need to. Painting is my main source of income. So I spend more than eight hours a day painting. But I, can't, I know I can't just do that. I'll cut the circulation on the other things that are extremely important, that are bringing opportunity to me. Does this make sense? So, again, if Instagram is like, well, I'm going to see Instagram. I'm going to try to make Instagram work as an artist. I, maybe some sales will come from there. So don't spend more than 10 minutes on it. Put something there in the morning. Put something there in the night. You know, one or two top three photos a day. And then don't spend more than 10 minutes talking to people about it. Going and liking and commenting and whatnot. Getting back to people. No more than 10 minutes a day. Why? Because this is what you want to do. Flip. 
If you want to switch the channel, switch. It's ping pong. It's ping pong. It definitely is. It's ping pong. You got to just keep your eye on the ball and hit it in, in, in the different activities. As soon as you finish 10 minutes on Instagram, boom, move to Twitter. Do the same thing on Twitter. The exact same thing on Twitter. Don't spend more than 10 minutes. Even time yourself if you need to. Boom, 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 Twitter. You're going to start seeing that the more you switch, your creativity goes high. And if you're starting to do this every day, the action gets repeated every day. That's when the certainty goes high. You're like, oh, shit. Why? Because a week or two go by and now you have all these opportunities that are dropping. Someone calls you and says, I really like your work. You know, I have a gallery or I have a friend who has a gallery. Boom. They call you from where? I don't know. They saw you somewhere. They, your email. It could have been LinkedIn. It could have been Twitter. It could have been Instagram. It could have been YouTube. It could have been Facebook. It could have been your Facebook fan page. It could have been one of the one of the the ads on Facebook. This is why I say do everything and only lean on the things that start to hit back. The things that start hitting back that, that you're you're getting opportunity from this over and over, lean on it a little bit more, but don't drop the other stuff. Don't do that to yourself. I've done that so many times. It's so painful to get back up because your your mind makes you believe, oh my God, this is it. It's right here. No, it's not. It's just an income stream. It's not just right there. That's one of them. And it might be a heavy one. When I started selling on eBay, I dropped everything. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. I did this. Because eBay was giving me $2,000 a day. $2,000 a day. Okay? Those of you who do math, it's, it was easily over $60 a month. When I, when I went hard on eBay, it started giving me $2,000 a day. And I was like, oh my God, this is it. I shouldn't even be here. I shouldn't even be there. Huge mistake. Huge. It, it got my, 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 my inspiration and my creativity to, it just, it, it plummeted me. It, it dropped me to the floor. Because all of a sudden, I'm just thinking about that. And when you're just thinking about one thing, you, you start suffocating it. You begin to suffocate it. You, you, you take the oxygen out of it. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. You begin to focus on one thing and one thing only, you begin to suffocate it. There needs to be clicks, changes. And so the best, the best advice I can give anyone is, look, do as many things as you can in one day. By Jesus Christ, man, if you can do 20, if you can do 60, I know the, the, who, who was, I think it was Jim Rohn who said that he was, his business or his company could do up to 100 different actions in one day. 100 different actions. Not just the same one. Yes, there's phone calls, right? There's phone calls. Yes, there's painting. That's another one. There's Twitter, there's Instagram, there's YouTube, a video, there's this, the, the Instagram live. Yeah, don't, don't get stuck on the same thing. Don't get stuck on the same thing. You should operate like, like switching channels all day. And every time they switch channels, you'll notice your creativity. Some, something happens. It's something beautiful. It's almost like you put, you put those things to rest. You can only use them so much. You can only suck energy out of them so much or, or put energy into that so much in any given day. And then you got to click, switch, and click, switch, switch, switch. And so you should be doing, I said, I said a couple of years back, you should be doing 10 different things a day. If you're starting out, you should be doing 10 different actions. 10 different actions. You should be painting. You should be photographing, listing your work. That's another, another, another one. You should be looking for more opportunities, whether that's new websites, uh, selling on 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 a, on a different platform, whatever. You should be doing that. You should also be doing some social media. By the way, social media is not just one. There's seven or eight different social media platforms. So, so social media as a as a pillar, but there's eight different ways you can go. You can do Pinterest. You can do YouTube. You can, and you should be doing all of these ones. Just a little bit of the day. Boop, 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 boop. You should be hitting them. And then move to the next one. What's the next thing? You should be talking to people about your commissions. Maybe doing a video. Maybe running an ad. You should be getting people into an email list. That's another action. That has nothing to do with social media. I mean, it can, but it's, but it's not really. It's not direct. 
you can run an, a Facebook ad to try to get people into into your your um, your email list. That's a whole other action. It shouldn't take more than five minutes when you do that. Put together an email. Put a couple of dollars behind. I mean, the first time you do it, yes, it's going to take you an hour or two. The first time you do it, because you're like, what? How do I get? It might even take you two days because you don't have anything set up. It's fine. But once it's set up, it shouldn't take more than five minutes to do every time that you do it. And so, I hope this makes sense, my friends. Alicia says it's working for me. Let's see here. Constance says it's like ping pong, back and forth communication in small doses. Absolutely. Make them want to see and hear more. Yeah, and, and it's not just for them, okay? Because, look, I'm going to be honest with you. If I could be eight hours a day on Instagram, I would, but I can't. I personally can't, okay? This does not mean that there's not businesses out there who have full-time employees just on Instagram, DMing all day, talking to people. This does exist, okay? This is real, but you can't because you're one person. And if you try to do that, again, it sucks the creativity out of you. Unless that's your main income stream, then you should you should be able to put more time into it because it's your main income stream. You should you should spend a few hours on it. You know, I know because I know it's for for some artists Facebook is their main income stream. And if I were to tell them, oh, it's just spend ten minutes on Facebook, they'd be like, dude, you're crazy. I can't. I need to be on on this on this on ten different Facebook groups at the same time. I need to be talking to people and telling them and sharing my work and blah blah blah. And, and that's how they produce their income. I, I know two artists that do that. I coach one of them. I know two artists that do that. They, the main focus, their main income stream is Facebook. Facebook groups. And so I can't tell them, oh, spend 10 minutes on it. Of course not. But just because they're doing that on Facebook doesn't mean they're going to do that on Twitter. So Twitter, they should be spending 10 minutes on. You see what I mean? So if something is not your main dish, you shouldn't be spending so much time on it. Just keep... Keep keep moving. Uh, I have started getting back to people in an email list. Who would want to hear me? <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, says Olga. My friend, I asked uh, if I want to put some paintings into her shop in Lexington. Oh, I asked a friend. Yeah. I thought about it for three weeks, then decided to do it while placing artwork on the floor to see how. Very nice. How's it going, Sophia? Well, there you, there you guys have it. I hope that this uh, was helpful. Uh, again, this was creating certainty when you're feeling uncertain. If you want to stop feeling uncertain, go do more things. Stop doing the one thing. It's killing you. All right? It's not only killing me. It's stressful. It's horrible. It's horrible to just do one thing all day. It's not, it's not, it's not even healthy for the mind or the body. All right. Take care, my friends. Talk to you soon. Peace out.